So since Mike McCarthy took over in 2020, the Cowboys have averaged over 30 points per game with Prescott under center. That's the best mark in the NFL. And while Dallas did go 4-1 and one with Cooper Rush at quarterback, that success, as I'm saying, mostly driven by the defense, right? If Prescott and the Cowboys offense can return to form, ooh, this team could be dangerous with the way that defense has been playing. I'm doing all this just to hype up Swagoo over there. What does it mean to get Dak back to this offense, especially with the way they've been able to sort of hold yeah. while he's been out First and wins all, it some means games. so much to me just personally I'm just happy. you are you a little hey, twinkle in that eye, little um, glimmer over there eight minutes the, the, and we're talking the, about the, you. The, the, this team is going to be more explosive offensively they don't have to play as conservative as they've been playing what's best for Dak Prescott is not what's best for the Dallas Cowboys see but you're gonna miss you missing the whole point I'm not saying you roll deck out there and you you intentionally throw 35 you just said be more explosive be more explosive man, let the Absolutely. man finish Dan I know Damn, let, let boy. Man done. <laughs> let man done. all right Cooper Rush game plan can we agree that when you went in the games with Cooper Rush you said we got to we got to set them circumstances if they go this way this is the we wheelhouse. got eight plays man this is the wheelhouse that we want to stay in sure that wheelhouse is a little bit bigger with Dak Prescott. Okay. I'm not saying you go out there and you think you got to bombs away 40 passes a game. Sure. You could stay in the same vein, but give this defense a 14 point lead like you weren't going to take chances of doing with Cooper Rush. You're probably going to win a lot of games. Mm -hmm. All right, so because I'm because I don't think we disagree. I think you oh, yeah, want to disagree. I don't think we disagree. <laughs> no, I mean I think the big change. <laughs> for this you're right anyway, so doesn't matter. Yeah. Not, go the ahead. big change for this offense under Cooper Rush was they put him under center more. Yep. They went way more max protection, way more play action. But I don't believe that was strictly because just of Cooper Rush. And everyone might look at these numbers and say, well, they're not that different. They are. I mean, this is a massive difference. We put Cooper Rush under center, less shotgun, way more play act. I mean, that's a big difference yep. now, max protection. But I don't believe it was just because, well, it's Cooper Rush. We talked about the injuries to this offensive line. So through this hmm. process, did they not realize that maybe it's not the best thing for Dak Prescott, but it's the better thing for our offensive line? Yeah. It's not the best thing for Dak Prescott, but it's the better thing for our two backs. And that's why I think, like, to sit here and say we're just going to become this chuck and duck explosive offense. Well, that's not what I'm saying. But but how do you but how do you exp, how do you explain? Let me ask you a question. Getting a 14. Go ahead, Key. I, Let Key go, I, yeah, and then you can ask. Yeah. Quick with mine. Go ahead, go ahead. It's simple for me. Keep the Cooper Rush game plan. I agree. Keep that okay. same game plan. Okay, we're gonna play defense like you said. Right. Yep. We gonna line up. We gonna get him under center. Some. Mm -hmm. We gonna run. But that's the football. not the best thing for Dak Prescott. Yeah. So see, will you so, let so, me finish? Go ahead, Keith. One time. Go That's ahead. all I ask, Daniel. I like when we fight. Go ahead. <laughs> it Go may ahead. not be the best for Dak Prescott, but it's best for the team. I literally just said that. Uh, anyway, okay. at the end of the day, Marcus and Laura, I'm going to leave him out of it. <laughs> Defense, play their game, run yeah. the football. And every now and then, if you need Dak Prescott to hit a chunk play, we know he can. Yeah. They didn't believe in Cooper Rush in doing that. So we need more That's time. That's all. Now y'all go on and y'all take the last well, couple minutes. Well, I will say this. I think you guys are kind of all, as the arbiter and the judge, I think you're all saying the same God. thing. We are. Kind of. That's, what, really That's what I'm saying. But Dan won't say something about, different, You're though. thinking about it differently. I like the, that y'all wanted to disagree. Here's, but here, I don't here's how you sum this up. What you saying and what you saying. This is how the Cowboys were winning last year until they went to Let's throw it 45 times. That ain't going right. to work. And we didn't their like mindset, that. Don't you agree their mindset transition to let's go be more explosive? A hundred percent. So what I'm saying is Jeez, they still, during that time, <laughs> were more explosive and the number one offense in the league. Yep. But they leaned into the run game a little I, bit more. I, That's I, all they did. I'm with glad when we had our right, call. Right, I'm also, glad when we had our call, Laura, the producer said stick with the Dallas Cowboys. Because I can give you many examples of teams running, playing defense, running the football, and being conservative in the, the past game. The Cowboys were a lot of this last games. year. Yep, they were just more well. explosive because Dak is a better quarterback. It bro. also helps. That's my point. It helps when you have a run game that's having she success did. with Zeke and Tony yeah. Pollard bringing some explosiveness. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.